of him. And that's another good thing, study the wrath of God. We are not appointed to wrath. We are not going to have anything to do with God's wrath. God's not mad at us no matter what. No matter what mistakes we do, God is not mad at us, and we will not have no wrath from God. It says we are reconciled to God through, through his death. Then in Hebrews 9.15, it says, The blood of Christ cleanses my conscience. 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 That's a word. I have a hard time with that word. Okay, so it cleanses us. So we don't have, we're Christ conscious. We're not sin conscious. Because when you're sin conscious, you're constantly thinking, I got to do this better. I didn't do this good enough. And your mind is on you instead of on Jesus. And God wants it on his son. And so, uh, next one is Colossians 1.20. And by him to reconcile all things to himself. So, by the blood and death of Jesus, he reconciled all things to himself. So everything that was ever stolen from me has to come back to me. He reconciled everything that we lost in the fall of man in, in the, the Garden of Eden, and he restored everything that we're lost, that we lost and got stolen from us. So everything is reconciled back to me. And then uh, I believe, I'm not sure it might continue, that might be Hebrews where it says, with his own blood he entered the most holy, his most holy place for once and all, having upturned Obtained, upturn, <laughs> obtained eternal redemption. That means you're not saved, not saved, saved, not saved, saved again, saved, not saved. Backlog. You know, it's eternal redemption. Okay, it's not until you sin next time. And then Hebrews 10, 19 says, Having boldness to enter the holiest by the blood of Jesus. Now, this one gets me excited. This is one, one of my favorite ones, but the next one's my really favorite one. But we have boldness to have a covenant relationship with God, to come into His presence. And where is His presence? It's not just inside of us, but it's seated at the right hand of the Father. So I have boldness, and I have a right and a boldness to come in to God's presence anytime, any place. And so that one's exciting. But the next one is my favorite. The blood, the blood of the sprinkling that speaks. Hebrews 12, 24, the blood speaks. So this is where I go, God, what does the blood say? And then I say, Father, the blood of Jesus says, Robin is healed by the stripes of Jesus. The blood of Jesus says that Robin is one spirit with God, that Robin is the body of Christ on earth, that Robin has the Holy Spirit living inside of her, that Robin has all power and authority over all the power of the enemy. The blood of Jesus speaks and says that Robin is righteous. I am righteous. There is nothing I can do to lose my salvation. You will never leave me or forsake me. Nobody can take me out of your hand. I am yours and you are mine. The blood of Jesus speaks. And I just I just praise God about the blood of Jesus, what it says, all the stuff that it is, the blood of Jesus has done for me and empowered me to do. And I love that scripture. And then I go to the next one, which is Hebrews 13, 20. And it says, Now may the God of peace, who brought up the Lord Jesus Christ from the dead, through the blood, this is my next favorite one, make you complete in every good work to do His will, working in you what is well-pleasing in His sight through Jesus Christ. That is exciting. So I just say, Father, I thank you in Jesus' name that the blood of Jesus and through the death of Jesus that I am complete in every good work. I lay hands on the sick and they are healed. I lay hands on the dead and they are raised up. I cast out demons. I cleanse the leopards. I preach the good news to the poor because I am not poor no more. And I can tell them how to stop being poor because the kingdom of God is in me. And it's your good pleasure to give me the kingdom. And the kingdom of God is in power and the kingdom of God ruleth over all. So everywhere I go, Father, in every work I do, I'm successful. My books are number one. They are high on lists. The world is being changed because of my books. They're number one books. They bring in finances so I can I can do the things that you called me to do. And I just praise God. And then I go on to um, Revelation 12, 11. It says, They overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. And I could say something like, Father, this is the word of my testimony. By the stripes of Jesus I have been healed. That the blood of Jesus inside of me and the body of Jesus of communion I have just taken pushes out all darkness, pushes out all of the curse, pushes out everything of the enemy, every weakness, everything aging, Father. And the blood and the body of Jesus is life to my body. It brings me medicine and healing. It replaces body parts. 
that my testimony is that I walk in supernatural health, that I have the mind of Christ. My spirit is perfect in Christ Jesus. And because my spirit is perfect and being led by the Holy Spirit, body and and mind, you follow my spirit. My spirit is the boss, not you. In Jesus' name, I have that testimony. I please God, and I have a relationship with God, and, and you just can go on and on. And this is how I take communion every day. I was taking it two and three times a month, and now I'm taking it once or twice a month, and I just love communion because it just builds up my faith. It heals my body. It makes me look younger, feel younger, and it gives me revelation knowledge, and I just, I just get so excited, and I just love it. And so that is how I take communion. That is uh, what um, communion does for me. And to, next time I share, I'm going to share about the seven different ways that Jesus' blood, shed his blood on this earth, and what each one of those things represent. So my name is Robin. RobinBremer.net is my website check it out share this please share this with your friends this is an awesome revelation that God has given me and that I've learned um, that will set people free communion is not a ritual and don't worry about taking communion um, wrongly because you can't take it wrong you're you're not going to be punished what that means is if you don't realize what the blood of Jesus did you're going to have the same results that everyone in the world does you're going to be under the curse of, of the earth you have to take the blood like medicine. It's like if you have this sickness and disease, if there's two people here and there's medicine right here, if person A takes the medicine to get rid of the sickness and disease, they're going to get rid of the sickness and disease. But if person B doesn't take that medicine, they're going to be like everybody else having that sickness and disease. And what communion is, it's vitamins, it's minerals, it's, it's, um, it's, it's heavenly vitamins, it's heavenly minerals, it's heavenly body parts it's heavenly nourishment it's heavenly life and when you take communion you are you are receiving what the blood and the body of Jesus did for you and when you receive it and understand it you're going to have abundant life when you just take communion because it's a ritual because you don't really know what it means you're supposed to do it because you're trying to be a good person or earn salvation you're still going to be under the curse you're still going to have sickness disease poverty lack and fear because you're not allowing communion to become what it really is all about to you. It's just a ritual. It's just something that you do, like go to church, but you don't care because there's nothing there for you. It's not a ritual. It's a power tool. So my name is Robin Bremer. Dot net is my website. Share this with your social media sites. Share this with your groups on Facebook, your friends on Twitter. And get the word out because I just love sharing the good news of the gospel. And remember, if it's not good, it's not the gospel. Gospel means good news. Everything about Jesus is good news. And every time you look at the Old Testament, remember, put Jesus there. If Jesus didn't do it, you got to go to Jesus. It's all about Jesus. Talk to you later.